this week and i gotta say thank you guys for 1k subscribers we made it i gotta say thank you thank you thank you and i also gotta say if you guys want you guys can follow me on twitter at ss well my name's ss reek the handle name is saying reek so if you guys want you can follow me on twitter a link will that will a link to that will be in the description down below and in the comment section but today since we reached 1000 subscribers i'm gonna be bringing this new series to my channel five people who could defeat eos now a lot of people they might not know what eos means but eos means end the story so today i'm going to be picking five characters who could defeat beerus at the end of the series now the emphasis on could 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 i know a lot of people they're going to want to take my head off but let's go ahead and get into it now coming up at number five already controversial gohan now stop stop i know you all want to take off my head right now for saying gohan but listen 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 let's remember that gohan said that he wants to start training again so this all depends on gohan if gohan actually does take his training seriously and if he actually does get back to the way he was imagine a gohan at the peak of his potential plus getting a uh, uh trained by someone like goku or vegeta who gohan we already know he has the potential to surpass both of them since he's half saiyan and half human so just imagine if gohan takes his, his training seriously he gets back to that mystic gohan level and if he gets trained by goku Goku or Vegeta or how even Whis, then he would definitely be able to t uh, go total to beards. That's only if Gohan decides to go all out. Let's keep it at that. The next one is Vegeta. And the reason why I said I have Vegeta so high on this list is because we know that Vegeta, he's always been like, at least been like a couple of steps behind Goku, you know. Goku, he already takes like a Euro step and gets ahead of him just a little bit. So that's why I gotta have Vegeta up here. There isn't really much to say. We know that Vegeta, I do think that eventually he will become stronger than Beerus because if Goku becomes stronger than Beerus, I think it's only right that Vegeta is. And it's kind of been like, we know that Beerus is basically like the the big goal for goku so if, if goku does surpass him i do think that vegeta will be able to surpass him too they've both been powering up a lot the only thing that's really different is that he doesn't have a kaioken so that's why he is, doesn't really have something that can make beer shiver like that but we do know that in the past vegeta he has gotten a power up like he's been the first to show him power up like with super vegeta so i think that vegeta he's definitely gonna get another one coming in at number three is hit now this might be surprising to everybody but the major key that i loved about hit is when he said you know what we ain't gonna be pawns for too long so that got me thinking old oh, stop so hit he's gonna actually go in he's gonna put in some work i like that i like that a lot about hit so i can't wait to see what he's gonna do so if hit actually does come back i actually have a whole nother theory planned about hit oh i'm gonna say that for another video but if hit does actually come back into, into the story and if he actually did keep getting growth i do think he'll be able to take on beers number two is sean but now listen i i see the this shop but he easily gets disrespected the most i mean people i saw somebody he made a twitter poll he said who do you think will win goku or champa and goku dominated that twitter poll what what no 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 okay listen 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 people i think they definitely take it they definitely see that they saw the little line when they said that beers are stronger than champa but don't get it wrong it's not like that beers is like 10 million it's not like they're on two different different playing fields we know that beers is stronger than him only because champa's fat and lazy that's that's fact so i'm i'm assuming that if champa if he actually did start training and if he actually did get it stop being lazy he would be on par or stronger than beers so that's the only reason why beers is currently stronger than him and on top of that man he's a god of destruction you can't put goku what the dude stop. that doesn't make me puke so yeah champa number two there's really not much to say they're they're rivals basically and last but not least you all guessed it yeah, come on we could all say it together goku yes we know end the series goku he's gonna most likely be beers his last opponent goku's gonna finally he's gonna probably have one last sprawl uh, i said sprawl brawl with beers spar and i think it'll be dope because goku at the beginning of the series he couldn't really do nothing against them but then at the end he's gonna finally be able to take him out me personally i would actually like it if beers did actually beat goku in the end but uh beers like he passes out after the fight or something to show that you know these two they gone or to show that goku's got so far i would like him to like flick him like me personally the ideal fight would be him using the flick again on goku knocking him down but then beers after him and wis like travel home he's like damn he just like falls out or something so yeah that's basically it for this five people defeat 